Hello everyone, I'm Kate and today I'm going to be talking to you about the very exciting Casey Holmes collaboration with Smashbox. She created two separate highlighting palettes. One is called Pearl and it's the lighter fronted one and this one is gold. These are absolutely stunning and what I love and what makes these so cool is that these are meant to like work in collaboration with each other. So you can stack each of these, you can use them on their own, or you can just choose to have this one that is kind of meant to be a topper over top of one of each of these. So we have turn it on, crank it up, and blow a fuse. So this is your different lighting levels because these are called spotlight palettes. I think that this is such a creative, unique idea. I haven't seen anything like this out on the market. Sorry if I'm blinding you, and not just with my highlight. Ooh, see what I did there? <laughs> so I know that these are meant for different skin tones. Pearl would be for fair skin tones, and gold would be for deeper, but I wanted to support Casey, and I got both palettes. Plus, I knew that during the summer when I am tanned that I could use gold then. But today, what I decided to share with you, I used pearl here on my cheeky wikis, and then I used gold as my eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I give you a little mini eye tutorial with gold. I show you pearl here, and then I'm going to give you swatches on my arm so you can see exactly what those look like as well. I am super excited for Casey, and I feel like I have a special connection with her because I have been following her for years, and when I did my Casey Holmes Made Me Buy It video, she actually knows who I am. She watched it, she shared it on her Snapchat, and it was mind-blowing. I actually started crying. <laughs> Full disclosure, she is just one of those really incredible people that I really, really look up to. What I love so much about her channel and her vlog channel is that she's just completely and truly her genuine self. She shares with you her private life, and I know that there are certain things that she will always keep private, but what I love is that she shares with you what her house looks like, her pajamas, what she looks like when she doesn't have any makeup on. She just brings you into her life and really makes you feel like you could easily be friends with her and that you are. Whenever I put on one of her videos, it's like where you just get to hang out and discuss makeup. So that's what I think makes Casey Holmes such a unique person here on YouTube. She's just so completely real. She doesn't try to be anybody else. She doesn't try to even act like anybody else. She's just exactly who she is. And I really do look up to her for that. And Casey, if you just happen to be watching this, I am so, super proud of you. You have been chasing your dreams for years and now you actually have a collaboration with Smashbox. I am so happy for you, so proud of you. Keep chasing your dreams, girl, because I know that they are all going to come true for you. All right, so with that being said, if you would like to hang out with me every Friday and every Monday, please go ahead and tap that red rectangle down below that says subscribe across it, and you can also click on that bell if you want to get a notification whenever I post my future videos. It's just twice a week, nothing over the top, but if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos, that is the best way to do it. All right, let's jump right into the rest of the video. What was the nanny's name? McPhee. <laughs> <laughs> <Grinsby. laughs> Raquel. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a Raquel. <laughs> so to start off the tutorial portion of this video, I'm going to prime my eyes using Too Faced Shadow Insurance and Max Painterly Paint Pot. I'm not sure why, I just looked at them, I know exactly what they are, so I'm just gonna prime my eyes with these. My caffeine arrived! <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to set everything with Maybelline's Superstay Better Skin Powder, of which I am clearly almost out of, but I am so dedicated to it that I will, yum, finish it off completely before I just move on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to grab my Smashbox Casey Holmes Gold Palette, and I'm going to use the shade Turn It On. I think that's what it says. 
yes, turn it on. And I'm going to grab my Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush. Pick this up and place it right onto my lid. This is going to be a very light, very kind of, not sparkly, but sheeny kind of look. Then I'm going to dip this Luxie Tapered Blending Brush into Crank It Up. Again, this is the gold palette. And putting it onto the crease and outer corner. This is just going to be super simplistic, but I love these shadows. So I just wanted to show off the versatility of these palettes because I think that they are so beautiful and the formula is so amazingly creamy and soft and it's pigmented just enough. It's right in that mid zone of pigmentation because it's definitely going to still show up, but for a highlight, you also don't want it to be like so intense right when you put it on your face. For the next step, I'm grabbing my Morphe E18 brush Dipping it back into Crank It Up, and I'm going to place it along my lower lash line. I like having my lower lash line be a little bit more dramatic and darker, I guess, in terms of picking up more product and placing it under here because on the top is where I have my thickest amount of liner. I have no idea why I'm holding my brush like this. That was really weird. Weird. Now I'm going to grab my glitter glue as per usual, and I'm going to pick up just a little bit on this finger and place it right here onto my lid because we are going to use blow a fuse. Use blow a fuse. Look at me. Right on the lid. It's definitely sparklier, it's a pretty. That is so beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to using this gold palette in the summer when I'm all tan because it is definitely deeper in tone that I would be using right now. I'd definitely be the pearl palette right now since I'm pale, but this gold is really, really beautiful. It's not too deep, it's not too light. I can imagine this would be beautiful on deeper skin tones. Gorgeous. <laughs> So to be honest with you, I was a little nervous because I had never used these highlight shades on my eyes before, but I love the way that this turned out using these three shades. Beautiful. And I can imagine that if you are actually tan or fake tan in the summer and you just wanted to pack this with you on your island vacay or just walking around having fun with your friends during the summer months this would be beautiful because it would really tie in the tanness that you've got going on on your face and you could put gold here and have it just be beautiful and have it pull into your eyes and have this overall shimmery golden tan goddess look. <laughs> I can imagine it would be absolutely stunning. I love this palette, cannot wait to use it more, and I love the eyeshadow look that I created for uh, us pale girls. I think it's beautiful. So now I'm going to grab my Smashbox Pearl palette. What is with the shedding of the brushes today? Come here. Mm. Okay, so there's one wonkus hair on this thing. It's just wanting to stick around, so it's going to. Whatever. So I'm going to dip my brush into Turn It On and place it on my cheeks. So what I've been doing too is taking Turn It On and what is it? Crank It Up and combining them. I'll show you what that looks like on this side. It's so pretty. I've been wearing these for days. 
but I love them. So pretty. Can you see it? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So now you can see, just turn it on here. And then you have it turn it on and crank it up here. So now I'm going to take blow a fuse, which is my personal favorite, and put it right on top just to get that super powerful highlight. So now this is a combination of all three. It's so pretty. Hmm. This is definitely your very natural lit from within look. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna take a little bit of crank it up and place it on top of this just so that it matches the other side now. I really can see myself using this all the time with a natural look with a kind of mid-range makeup look here where it's like definitely a full face but it's not full drama and I can also see myself doing this with like performance makeup and I'm definitely going to be using this when I go back to competition for Irish dance I've already used this for performance days for St. Patrick's Day and I think it is just beautiful. It sticks with you all day, especially if you use Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. This stays with you. And I know sometimes I've struggled with highlights or blushes that just kind of fade throughout the day, but this baby staying with ya. It's perfect. If you would like to become virtual frenzies, please click right on over there to subscribe to my channel. And if these two thingies don't show up, you can check out other videos by me and subscribe to my channel by clicking down below. One will be the red rectangle to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I also have other videos linked down below in the down bar, along with all of the products I used here in today's video. All right, my darlings, I love you all dearly, and I will see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.